foreboding silence hangs over this forest. No birds sing over its trees. No animals roam within. People claim they feel strange here. All trees are crooked, bending in the same direction. This is no horror film intro. It's just a forest in Poland. What's going on here, and why are the trees growing in such a peculiar way? Why can't the scientists who've been studying it for half a century find an explanation to its origins? Is it the work of a man, or is it time to call a witcher to solve whatever mystery is at work here? Can this forest mean that there are places on our planet that defy the laws of nature and physics? Or are there nasty Nazi experiments at work? Let's try figuring this out. Are you subscribed? Did you ring the bell? Okay then, let's go! This is Koronian Spit, a modern UNESCO heritage site that connects Lithuania and previously Prussia and today Russia's Kaliningrad district exclave. Russia, the world's biggest country. North of Russia is just 4 kilometers away from the USA, holds 1,420 nuclear warheads, likes peninsulas, doesn't like gay people. Once it was a set of islands that in time turned into a limitless sand spit in the shape of a saber. One side of it is constantly affected by the cold winds from the Baltic Sea, but on the other side there's eternal stillness. In time, the birds and the winds have brought tree and bush seeds to the spit, making flora and fauna flourish. People followed soon after and cut down the forest. In the 1960s, the pine forest has been planted again, this time by people, in order to strengthen the spit. During the first few decades, while the trees were the size of a bush, it seemed like an ordinary forest, of which there was more in the USSR than even repressions. However, during the 80s, the locals started noticing anomalies in the area. Some trees started bending and their trunks began twisting in a peculiar way. Walking through the forest could make one think a witcher is about to come out from behind the nearest tree. Today, the dancing forest on the Koronian Spit is a real tourist attraction. Some claim feeling energized from it. Others never want to visit the place again, complaining about sudden headaches. Overall, it's a pretty creepy place. The scientists keep coming up with theories one after another, trying to explain what happened to the forest. We will talk about these versions in a couple of minutes. What do you think happened there? Write your version in the comments below right now. Despite the mystical look of the forest on the Koronian Spit, there is one issue. All trees are bent differently. Some even grow straight. But everything is completely different in our next spot. It's not too far, just 500 kilometers away. A small Polish town of Grafino, previously Griefenhagen, was built a long time ago, back in the 13th century, as a small fishing village settlement near the Oder River. Today it's located on the northeast of Poland. Poland is in Europe, a continent to the right of the USA is the 69th <laughs> biggest country in the world. The Polish astronomist Copernicus was the first to assume that Earth isn't the center of the universe. Poland has a TV channel dedicated to the Pope. No, you can't have it. Grafino is situated near Poland's border with Germany, just three kilometers away. Remember that. Why? You'll understand in a few minutes. Overall, Grafino is an ordinary European town that wouldn't be interesting to anybody if not for a grove nearby. A pine forest occupies 1.8 hectares. The locals call it the Crooked Forest, and for good reason. The trunks of over half a thousand trees are crooked like fishing hooks. At about 30 centimeters above ground, the trunk suddenly bends by almost 90 degrees, changes its direction, and keeps growing sideways, parallel to the ground, and then gently bends back up, reaching for the sky. Unlike the Koronian Spit, where all trees are bent differently, this place is different. All trees are bent identically and always in one direction, to the north. The locals like telling mystical tales to the tourists, but they don't know the real reason for such a weird tree curvature. Even the scientists can't reach a common hypothesis and offer dozens instead, from specifics of local biology and radiation to aliens and even Nazi experiments. 
Time to find out what's going on. The drunk forests in Poland and Russia have something else in common, apart from the crooked trees. Local legends speak of pagans who lived there centuries ago and worshipped the nature. According to the legends, they even killed a Christian missionary on the Koronian spit after he entered the dancing forest and somehow messed with the trees. Okay, this version certainly attracts tourists, but doesn't sound scientifically convincing. Firstly, because the dancing forest near Kaliningrad was planted during the 1960s, while the crooked forest near Grafino in the 1930s. There's no evidence of similar phenomena happening to local trees before. Secondly, no magical or healing properties were observed. No magnetic field changes or any events of the kind. It's true that tourists feel differently here. Some talk of feeling energized, others feel down and experience headaches. Psychologists explain this with psychosomatics. Meaning if you, say, have watched horror movies before sleep as a kid, you can really feel ill here. But it's in your head, not in the location. Another theory that can be written off as mystical is the UFO one. The crooked and the dancing forest's appearance is attributed to alien visits from faraway galaxies. Well, making the trip through half a galaxy just to bend a few thousand trees in Europe, abduct a couple of cows in Texas, and make Trump the president? Visiting the Earth just for that? An intelligent life form? You've got to be kidding! <laughs> But it's neither aliens nor sorcerers who bent the trees. The answer is obvious. Hitler There's a reason we asked you to remember the crooked forest in Poland is just three kilometers away from the German border. Furthermore, Grafino was founded by the Germans, and the forest itself was planted by them in the 1930s. Back then, this territory belonged to the German province of Pomerania. Kaliningrad also belonged to Germany prior to World War II and was called Königsberg. It's also the birthplace of Immanuel Kant. Immanuel Kant, a great philosopher, the author of the Critique of Pure Reason book, is as respected as Plato and Aristotle. Ate once a day. Never got married. His surname is spelled with a K and A. Hitler's rise to power is known for the beginning of horrible experiments with poisons and chemicals, among other terrible ways of killing people. A theory exists claiming both the dancing and the crooked forest served as testing grounds for some still unknown substances that affected the soil and made changes to the plant's DNA. A German flight school was situated near the dancing forest, and the locals assumed the chemicals may have been sprayed from the air. But why are all the crooked forest trees bent identically then, and those in the dancing forest aren't? The Germans are known for their orderliness, but it's unlikely they've created a chemical that makes trees turn in one specific direction. Moreover, soil research hasn't shown any anomalies, and there's no evidence of conducting secret bio-experiments here. Although, maybe that's why they're labeled secret? There is another version, and the Nazis are at fault again, except there's no chemicals involved this time. Rafino citizens claim that a German tank assault took place in these areas during World War II, and the tanks bent the trees, making them grow this way. But identically? It's doubtful that the Germans lead their assault perfectly lined up. And the Koronian spit was planted 15 years after World War II ended. However, it's not as silly of a theory as it may seem. What if the trees were truly bent, but not by Hitler's war machine, just by people? The man has long since claimed himself as the king of nature. It only took a few thousand years for him to turn this into this. The USSR used to turn the river flow, China built the Three Gorges Dam that slowed our planet's spinning speed and decreased the duration of a day by 0.06 milliseconds. Imagine what we can do to a mere tree. Everyone knows a tree is always reaching for the sun. The one above, in case you forgot. Placing a heavy object on a young tree for a prolonged period of time can make it grow in any direction. It will try to grow around the obstacle at any cost in its struggle to reach for the sun. Maybe that's exactly what happened in the forest near Grafino. 
Someone decided to prepare the trees to be used for some sort of special furniture, but then abandoned that beginning for some reason, like the beginning of World War II. It's unclear what kind of furniture would require bending trees that much. Maybe it was a special order, but the client had to have a lot of patience. It would take half a century for the trees to fully grow this way. And this theory doesn't explain the origins of the dancing forest near Kaliningrad, where the trees are bent differently. Maybe an inexperienced carpenter handled them. Okay, if it's not a man-made effect, there is still one more force that can bend the trees this way. Nature. To be honest, no biologist has ever reacted to a bent tree by running towards it screaming, oh my god, this is unbelievable! The deformed tree phenomenon is nothing new for science. There is even a special term for a multitude of bent trees, Krumholtz. It's the trees where trees and bushes are twisted, with the trunks even bending into a spiral. This happens as a result of strong winds that consistently blow in one direction. Like all life, the trees do everything they can to adapt. Well, seems like that's that. The mystery of the crooked and the dancing forests is solved. We can all disperse. Unfortunately, not yet. There are two issues here. Firstly, the tree height in a Krumholtz rarely exceeds 10 meters. In Russian and Polish dancing forests, the trees are three to four times taller than that. Secondly, Krumholtz is a phenomenon characteristic of trees growing on the edges of a forest. It's sort of the forest's rear guard that holds the nature's ferocious offense. Both the crooked and the dancing forests are located within bigger forests, and the nearest locations affected by strong winds are hundreds of meters or several kilometers away. What if it's not the nature's tremendous power? What if the reason is much smaller, the size of a DNA chain? We finally reached the most realistic versions that try to explain why the forests begin to dance all of a sudden. The first version blames it all on genetic mutation. Dancing trees often have curved pines, which can be the explanation to everything. Inherited mutation makes the trees bend during growth. Some even assume that this mutation may have been caused by a radioactive leakage, resulting in some plants in the dancing forest on the Coronian spit receiving a dose of radiation. However, research of the root systems hasn't shown anything of sorts. The second version blames it all on this little bastard. Meet the pine shoot moth. Pine shoot moth, butterfly subspecies representative, wingspan up to 24 millimeters, lives mostly in North America, where it immigrated from Europe along with construction materials, has no chemical deterrent, would lay eggs in you if you were a pine tree. It usually attacks pine trees that grow in low-nutrition soils. Its larvae are known for eating the upper bud, and the seedlings begin growing side shoots. The pine shoot moth is considered as the most likely, albeit most boring, reason for the existence of the dancing forest on the Coronian spit. This version explains why some trees there are bent more than others, and some aren't bent at all. This, however, doesn't explain the existence of the crooked forest near Grafino. It's hard to imagine that the butterfly larvae decided to eat the trees exclusively from one side. A DNA change is unlikely to pull such a trick either. That said, the Coronian reserve workers have conducted an experiment to find out the truth. They've planted young pine trees in the dancing forest to see if they also start dancing. Unfortunately, the results of this experiment will only become available in 20 years. The trees need time to grow. We'll keep an eye on the situation, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell button. While the pine trees are growing, you can check out other videos on our channel. And press like if you enjoyed this one. Hundreds of trees bent equally to one side, a mystical place that falls under no explanation. We've looked at the most popular and realistic theories, but it looks like neither Nazis nor aliens or wizards or lovers of pine bonsai or Mother Nature or even the witty genes have anything to do with it. And there's no fully correct answer to the question why the forest is dancing. Could it be the place of negative energy? A spot where space-time curves? A gate to other worlds? consequences of geomagnetic radiation, or something we do not yet understand. Which versions do you like the most? Write in the comments.
Looks like there's no solution to the mystery of the dancing forest. And while the scientists keep searching for it, we can only marvel at the strange world we live in. Stay with us, there are many more marvels ahead of us. Maybe some of it's right in front of us and we never noticed. Brain frame out.